a semitone it should go to the E flat this symbol shows that note has been lowered by a one semitone let's take another example A flat this is A and we need to lower one semitone from A then we have to use the flat symbol shows one semitone lower from note A. Now let me show you how to indicate flats in a scale. Accidental is double flat. We use the double flat symbol to show that note has been lowered from a two semitone. For example, E double flat. What does it mean? Lower one semitone, then it goes to the E flat, then lower another semitone, then it goes to the note D. E double flat is equal to note T. Another example A double flat. What does it mean? Lower semitone from A, then it goes to the A flat, then lower another semitone from A flat, then it goes to the G. Therefore, A double flat is equal to G. How do we indicate in a scale the double flat? Right. E double flat, what we have learnt before. This is note E. We have to put the accidental in front of the note. E double flat. A double flat. Even though it shows like this, when you play an instrument, you have to play for E double flat, you have to play D, A double flat, you have to play not G. And we have learned four kinds of accidentals sharps, double sharps, flat, and double flat. And we have learned what is the effect of the accidentals and what is the effect which can be done by accidental to an art. Now I'm going to explain and I'm going to teach you another accidental which is called natural. Natural will help us to cancel all the accidentals what we have previous notes. And remember once you have put an accidental to a knot the effect of the accidental will carry it to the other nodes of the same line or space until you find the bar line. It means within the bar the, all the accidentals are active. Once the bar line comes all the accidental will be cancelled. And now we are going to learn about natural. We are going to cancel the accidentals what we don't like. Once you put the natural mark, this sharp 
symbol will be cancelled. Then it becomes F, F sharp and F natural. Let's see another example. Note B. And the second note I want be B flat. Then I have to put the flat mark to make the note B flat. Then the third note I want to be natural B like the first note. Then I have to cancel this flat mark. Then I have to bring down the natural symbol. Look how do I write the natural symbol in a line. And look how did I write the natural symbol on a space. Now let's do a small assignment to have a better understanding of accidentals. The first one, this is not F, this is not A, and this one B flat. What about this note? It is also B flat. This flat symbol affects to this note. So it becomes B flat as well. Now there is a bar line. All the accidentals will be cancelled because of the bar line. And second bar, this is not A, G sharp, A. What about this note? It is also G sharp because this sharp symbol goes to this G note then it becomes G sharp that's bar line all the accidental will be cancelled third bar now F G and here B flat and A there is nothing in this bar Fourth bar. This is B O B flat. This is B. Because of this bar line, this accidental already cancelled. It doesn't go to the next bar. So this is natural B. And this is A sharp. This is also A sharp because of this accidental, it goes to this node A to make it A sharp. A sharp and this is not F. Second example, this is not D, F sharp, G and this is also F sharp because of this accidental. It goes to this F note. And there's bar line accidental will be cancelled and the second bar this is F G and F sharp this is also F sharp because of this sharp symbol and all the accidentals will be cancelled because of the bar line third bar this is A B flat cancel the flat by using the natural mark. This becomes the natural mark. In the bar line, again not B, A, F sharp, B. That is how accidental works. I hope you understand very well about accidentals.